a lot of them they actually uh, send me the message say that oh thank you so much bring me the home taste of the food I really miss my hometown food Uh, Mel and I'm the owner of the Amel Kitchen and we are located at Pasir Ris Hawker and we are selling Amel Nasi Kanda. So we are selling the Nasi Kanda of the chicken wing, we have the uh, curry chicken, we have the fried batang fish and so on. We still have the fried uh, prawn, the uh, sambal prawn and the sambal sotong also. I'm actually from Malaysia, Penang, and so-called Sungai Petani. But a lot of people do not know where is Sungai Petani. So I usually tell people I'm from Penang. Yeah, because mostly people know where is Penang, but don't know where is Sungai Petani. Previously, my business was events. You know, uh, when we shop in the supermarket, right? Sometimes there's uh, some uh, sampling promo uh, promoter to tell, hey, would you like to try my food or that? So actually, we are helping doing this kind of business, the sampling sampling event in the supermarket. I like cooking when I was young because the time I was a helper of my mom. When my mother cook, I help. So I see her, how she cook already, then slowly after get married, right? So uh, as a housewife, I need to cook for my children. Then slowly, my skill is getting better and better. And honestly, i not high educated person. So if you want me to do other job, I don't know what I can do. So, but since I like cooking and I think um, everybody like, um, you know, good food. Lah. So I try to uh, think and then try to change and make the taste better. Why I decided to open a hawker store is because it's more affordable for me. <laughs> yeah, because uh, initially, I have a friend ask me, uh, would you like to open uh, a shop? But open a shop is very expensive. The cost is very, very a lot more compared to a store. So after that, just happened that I have a chance to have the, the space in this hawker center. So yeah, that's why I just grabbed the chance like, to get the store here. For the challenging we are facing for this wall, right? Mm, I can say it's the manpower part la, because it's really very difficult to find uh, people to come and help in the store or cooking or packing. And then secondly, it's the cost. As now a lot of people also notice that there's a shortage of chicken. So Malaysia stopped export the chicken from Malaysia already. So now not only me, I think most of the store people, they are worried about this problem. And not only this, because of the oil, the fuel increasing, so everything increased also. So we also hate it. <laughs> there's, I think there's many people know that uh, my husband was suddenly passed away uh, on March, end of March of uh, year 2021. Then for his suddenly left, then left with three kids with me. Then the time our business, the, bis the event business was totally stopped, no income at all. So that time I was so worried and I really don't know what to do and then to sustain and support my family. So, um, but lucky that my children, they are very, um, very good, they are very understanding. So when I do this um, Nasi Lama and Nasi Kanda business at time, right, they are really uh, helping me a lot, especially my elderly son. The compliment from the, our customer, right, usually they are, mostly I, I can say it's from Malaysia. Because a lot of Malaysia people, right, they stay in Singapore and then especially for the past two years, they're not able to go back home. So they can really taste of the home taste of the Nasi Lama. <laughs> So, um, they, a lot of them, they actually uh, send me the message, say that, oh, thank you so much, bring me the home taste of the food. I really miss my hometown food. And I think this make me feel most happy than make money. Yeah, because I Malaysia, then uh, I know the feeling of I miss the home cooked food. I really miss. So, I am so happy that for this small pack of the Nasi Lama, right, can bring people the missing home, the taste of mother, the taste of hometown. So I think this is the part that make me more happy than make money. For my future plan, 
if possible, I hope that I can open up a shop, okay, to sell whatever food I like. <laughs> yeah, because my mother and my grandmother, they are very, very good chef at home. Okay, so my especially my uh, grandmother, she cook very good uh, food like such as the nyonya food. My mother also she cook a lot of lovely food. So if one day I able to have the chance, I wish that I can open up a restaurant that I can sell all the good food in my restaurant. Honestly, uh, if my nasi kana is grow well, yeah, actually I don't mind to have a franchisee also, <laughs> if possible. <laughs>